hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl brie extra and today i am showing you all another curly clip in video shout out to curls queens for sponsoring today's video so this time they sent me their 3a 3b classic wefted clip in in the length 18 inches okay so this is the hair prior to me shampooing it as you can see, these curls are so beautiful. This is their 3A, 3B texture, which is a looser curl patterning than the 3B, 3C texture. So in this video, I'll be showing you all how I achieve this look by simply doing my updated flip over method, plus a good old twist out. so here i'm showing you all how i did my braid down y'all these braids are so old so please forgive me um, and I only left a little bit in the front because again, we are doing the flip over method. So here are the clip-ins once I have shampooed them. As you can see, we are gonna be starting with the five clip clip-ins. Um, normally I would start with the three clipped clip-ins, uh, three clip wefted clip-ins, um, but I find that this gives me more of a fuller look when doing the flip over method. So this part is self-explanatory. Um, all I'm doing is clipping on to the back of my hair. And I'm just adding the second set of the five clip wefted clip-ins. So next I'm going in with the four clip wefted clip-ins. Y'all, look how full this hair is. I'm not even done installing the clip-ins. Like, what? As I'm getting closer to the top, I'm gonna start using the two clip wefted clip-ins. I like to put those all in the front of my hair. As you can see here, I'm putting the clip in on the side of my head the opposite way because that's the way that I would like for the hair to flow and I would like for that area to look a tad bit fuller for the look that I'm going for. Here is a close up of how it looks. And so I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side. Girl, not me thinking I was done installing these clip-ins. Girl, I still had one more two wefted clip-ins. So all I did was just add that to the top of my hair because I wanted all of these to be in my hair. And here is how the hair is looking once it is all installed. Y'all, this hair is so beautiful in its natural state. Um, so this is how the hair is gonna look once you shampoo it. Um, and if you do not want to do anything to the hair. And here I'm just showing you all how you can flip it over and wear it in the middle if you'd like. And look how flat these wefts are. Okay, so let's get into this twist out. So first I like to start by sectioning off my hair with a medium size section. Um, and I'm gonna be using Design Essentials Curling Cream. Okay, first I like to go ahead and spray my hair down with water. I don't spray too much to the point where it's drenching down. And then I like to add the product to the hair and just massage it in before twisting the hair. So 
So next you want to separate your hair and start twisting. Um, so just like I did my braid out, I like to, when I'm twisting or braiding the hair, I like to be very close to when I'm twisting it. Like I like to twist it super tight just so I know I'm gonna get a defined look once it's dry. And I'll show you a close up here in a little bit just in case you are more of a visual learner like me. And when you get to the end, you just want to just twist the hair um, just so that curl can be a little bit more defined. And you can put a curling rod at the end. That normally is what I would do, but I really wanted the ends of the hair to just be its natural curl pattern. So here's the close up of how I am twisting my hair. I'm just making sure I am twisting it very, very tight, close together. And I'm just gonna repeat the same step all over. In case you're wondering, I did 15 twists to achieve this style. And y'all, I was so happy to be on my last twist. Do you hear me? I was tired, okay? I think this took me about 30 minutes to do, not super long. So once I was done twisting the hair, I did let these air dry for about two days. Now, you do not have to do that. You can actually sit under a dryer and let them dry or whatever works best for you but i like to let mine air dry i find that they come out better that way so when taking down your twist you want to make sure you have some type of oil so that way it can prevent frizz from happening at least that's what i like to do and when taking down your twist you want to do it very gently and start from the bottom all the way to the top Do y'all see how defined the twist out is? That's how you want it. You wanna make sure your hair is completely dry when taking down your twist. If not, you will get frizz and it will not look the way you want it to look. Once you are done unraveling the twist, you want to go back and start separating the hair. So 
so here is the final look all i did was separate the hair and just kind of fluff it out just a tad bit um, now if you want the hair much bigger you can continue to separate hair um, the more hair that you separate the bigger the hair will get so with the flip over you can wear it many ways here i'm just going to show you how you can wear it in the middle part and also the side part i love how this look turned out i haven't did a twist out in forever y'all but i just wanted to show y'all that y'all can do so much more with your clippings rather than just wear it in its natural state if you're just wanting a different style with them they're, they're so versatile And I did want to give y'all a close up of how the clip-ins look up front because I know on my last video I told you all the seamless clip-ins are perfect but you know I feel like you can see it especially with fine hair. So if your hair is more on the finer side or the thinner side I would definitely recommend these for you. Now you can probably still see it just a tad bit but girl that just means you a little too close to me okay okay y'all this is the final look i hope you all enjoyed this video and be sure to check out curls queens um, they have so many different type of clip-ins seamless wefted curly straight you name it and again i want to thank curls queen for sponsoring today's video y'all be blessed and never stress bye